Welcome up guys, my name is Daryl and in this video, I'm gonna introduce you guys to some cool new web hosting companies. A lot of these offer SSD, free domains and are really cheap compared to a lot of other websites. And I'm not just gonna talk about, oh, go to bluehost.com, go to GoDaddy. No, these are gonna be new companies that you probably never heard about. And I'm also gonna tell you guys all why nobody really promotes GoDaddy on YouTube. There's a reason for that, so stick around. Right, so number five is InMotionHosting.com. Now, some of you have probably already seen this website on YouTube, and that's probably because of its growing popularity with its free SSD hosting and also free domains. Now, what is a SSD drive? I'm sure you guys might have some questions about an SSD drive. So an SSD drive is a relatively newer technology that doesn't involve any moving parts inside of the hard drive. As a result, it's much faster compared to an HDD drive or a SATA drive. So right here you see the comparison between the two. The SSD is substantially faster than the HDD. The IOPS is the performance between the two. So the SSD clearly outperforms the HDD drive and latency. So latency is delay, it's lag. So the less you have, the better. So the HDD drive does have a lot more, which is bad. The SSD uh, doesn't really have much. Now, if you already have hosting guys with your own web hosting company, I would just stick with them. Don't switch over until your plan's up because uh, it can be a pain in the butt switching over and transferring domains. Trust me, it could be a really big hassle. So this is InMotionHosting.com. They made my number five. And the reason why is because, like I said, their free domains, their hosting is good, and they have phone support. Now, there is one con to this company, and that is you have to order it by the year. So for example, you have to get at least 12 months, but still nonetheless, it's only $6.99 a month. So by the end of the year, you'll probably pay $100 for a domain and a whole year of hosting. And keep in mind that you do get a, um, a free domain with that. So uh, InMotion Hosting made my number five list, so be sure to check them out. You guys can also click on the link in the description and check it out. And let's go on to number four. Right, so next is greengeeks.com. Now this website is actually independently owned. It's not part of EIG, it's not part of any other web hosting company, and it's actually powered by renewable energy. So this company actually offers free domains and free SSD. So let's take a look at their prices. Now they do offer a 30 day money back guarantee. They offer, like I said, fast SSD drives. They have all sorts of cool stuff like WordPress migration. So if you want to transfer your websites, they offer free transfers. So let's take a look at their price. Now their prices are a little bit different. They are sort of uh, relatively close to um, uh, in motion hosting, except you can get the monthly plan here. So right here, you'd put in your information. Now they have different sort of, uh, you know, different plans you can have. They have the starter monthly, which is $10 a month but they do charge you a $15 fee uh, to do that. But they do uh, also charge you guys like $10 for the who is, which is pretty cheap. Most companies offer that for $15. So you're getting a little discount there. And you can also do yearly. I would just do the yearly because you're gonna spend $86. You're gonna get you know uh, a free domain. You're gonna get your who is protection, all that stuff. You're just basically getting the whole year for 86 bucks. And if you don't like it guys, you guys can also do the 30 day money back guarantee. So um, seeing this company, you know, it's, it's, it's promising. They're actually based pretty close to me. I live probably maybe an hour from these guys. So if I ever have a problem, I could just like go over there and say like, hey, my hosting's not working, you know? So uh, yeah, check these guys out, green, greengeeks.com. Uh, I've talked to the manager. They're pretty cool there. I have an account there. So feel free to check it out. Click on the link, it'll take you there. And let's go on to number three. So number three is a2hosting.com. Now this is another SSD hosting website where you guys can get your hosting uh, relatively very cheap and you guys get the benefits of uh, free domains and also SSD drives. Now uh, this company has some really cool extra features at checkout. So let's go ahead and go over some of those. So I'm probably just gonna get the, uh, you know, the shared hosting. If you're just on a regular blog or WordPress website, that's probably all you need. Now the really funny part is this company their platform is actually built on the same platform as my web hosting company. This is my web hosting company, pyhost.com. That's right, I built it from scratch. So um, it's kind of funny that these guys are actually using the same uh, technology, which is called WHMCS. Uh, it is, you know, it's a very good software to use. So um, like I know, I mean, I use it, so I'm not gonna badmouth it, it's, it's good. 
Um, they do have some other cool stuff, you know, like they have like priority support. Now, guys, um, that actually is not good. But I want to show you guys why this is good but not good. They offer really good prices, guys. They offer, you know, unlimited domains uh, for just two bucks. They offer SSL certificates for just two dollars. But one huge problem is that they have a ticket support. So what that means is that you can't contact them if you have a problem. You have to submit a ticket. So that is a big flaw in my book because I feel that your website is, you know, it's on the internet 24 hours a day. If it just drops right there, you should be able to uh, fix it. However, these prices for what you're getting is very, very good, no doubt. So uh, that's why I kind of recommend A2 Hosting. Uh, I don't like their um, their support, the submitted tickets. I feel that people should be able to contact, uh, you know, people in the United States, or, you know, 24 hours a day. But um, nonetheless, it's still offering a very competitive price and they have a lot of cool extras and features. So go ahead and check out a2hosting.com. All right, guys, so the next two websites I think are sort of tied. So it's tmdhosting.com and also webhostingpad.com. Now, let me show you guys the difference between each of these websites to see what you guys think about it. So tmdhosting.com actually provides free SSL certificates, which companies like GoDaddy and Bluehost will charge you $50 a year for that. This company gives it to you for free. Now, on top of that, these guys actually give you a 60-day money-back guarantee with a free domain and SSD hosting. So you're basically getting top-of-the-line, top-of-the-line stuff for around $5.85 a month. Now, another really cool thing about this website is that they have a month to month plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in this, which is a free domain and it's going. Now, I mean, the prices for this site, guys, I gotta be honest, are extremely competitive compared to a lot. Of, you're getting, you're basically getting, you know, top of the line stuff, you know, for just, um, like I said, $9.85. So you're getting, the free SSL, you're getting unlimited storage, you're getting a free domain. Um, now, the one big drawback, guys, to this website is they have a ticket plan. But you can call them and order your domain and hosting and all that stuff. However, if you want support for your like server, you will have to submit a ticket. So that is one big flaw with tmdhosting.com. Nonetheless, they still have a phone number that you guys can call. So. Uh, right here, they have a phone number. So if you need help ordering, you guys can still call them. So now let's go on over to uh, T. I'm sorry, webhostingpad.com. Now, this website actually offers the same thing I offer on my web hosting website, which is WordPress support. Now I don't know how extensive they are. So on my website, if you go to the forums and you guys have a problem with your WordPress website, uh, me and a developer will help you guys out for like ten bucks a month. Now this website actually has the same thing. So right here it says, uh, where is it? WordPress expert help. For this plan, they will give that to you for just $6 a month. And guys, that is definitely worth it because getting a developer is very expensive. So if they're gonna help you with your website, I would take them up on that offer right away. Now for this plan, you guys get unlimited backups, guys. You get WordPress support and you get the free SSL certificate. So that being said, guys, that's extremely competitive compared to companies like Bluehost or GoDaddy where they'll charge you like 15 bucks a month and you won't get any of that. You'll pay half the price here and you'll be able to um, get all of that. On top of that, this company offers uh, phone support. So you can call them if you have issues or something like that, uh, if you have a problem with your website. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put in a you know, new domain. And of course, this is actually built on the same platform is my website. So this is my website. I know I like to show it off. So like I said, this is the same uh, technology. We are both using WHMCS. Uh, I built this website from scratch. Now, I don't think my website deserves any recognition, guys, because, um, you know, I I use it for mostly my clients, you know, stuff like that. So I don't really like to uh, market it too much on the internet because I don't know if I can handle the traffic. You know, I really don't know if I can handle it, but I do have a lot of clients. But anyways, now, the only thing is, guys, that you have to pay for the year on this website, but you still get the WordPress support, you get the free SSL, you get all sorts of really cool stuff, guys. Now, if you go back to companies like GoDaddy.com, 
like I said, or Bluehost or other well-known companies, you're going to have to pay for all that stuff. I mean, GoDaddy charges you $30 an hour to talk to you about WordPress support. These guys will do it on the monthly basis for just $6. So with that being said, I think companies like TMD Hosting and Web Hosting Pad deserve way more recognition than what they're getting right now. Because right now they're actually, I actually found TMD Hosting. Let me see, TMD Hosting. I actually found TMD Hosting on a uh, Facebook ad. And I was just like, what's this website? And I found it and I said, why have I never heard of this website before? Now, I've shown you both of these websites. Uh, they're pretty cool, you know, so is mine, right? Pyhost.com, yay. Now, let me show you guys why nobody promotes GoDaddy. So I mentioned that in the beginning of the video and I bet you're wondering, why does nobody promote GoDaddy? Well, I'm gonna give you guys all the affiliate secret and why nobody promotes GoDaddy. So this is GoDaddy.com. Now, if you're an affiliate, an affiliate is somebody who brings a website business and basically makes a commission. So all these websites right here will pay you $50 to $125 per sign up. So if I bring somebody to this website, this company will pay me maybe like 50 bucks, right? So that's pretty cool. However, GoDaddy has a really, really, really crappy conversion rate. So every time you bring someone to GoDaddy, they're going to give you anywhere between 10 to 15% of that. So that's really not a lot of money. I mean, if you're promoting a website and they're just giving you 10 to 15%, for example, if somebody spends $200, you're only gonna get maybe $30 and no one's really gonna spend $200 as a new customer. So it has a really, really, really bad um, commission rate. So if you see right here how it says sale, 10 to 15%. But let's just go to this website, you know, uk2group.com, which is another hosting company, and they're going to pay you $125 per sale. So that would mean you'd have to spend more than $1,000 at GoDaddy to get what these guys will give you. So that's why on YouTube, you don't see anybody promoting GoDaddy because their commission rate is just garbage. I mean, if I bring them 50 customers and they all spend $100, I'm only gonna make like $100. Like that's no fair because these guys get reoccurring payments from all those people. So that's basically why uh, nobody promotes GoDaddy. It's a little secret, but I just felt that uh, some people were asking me, what do you think of GoDaddy? And I says, it's a great company. I'm just not gonna promote it because they're not gonna pay me anything. You know, why would I promote, waste my time to promote some company they're not gonna pay me anything, right? So uh, that's a little affiliate secret for everybody. Now, if you guys want to see these websites, you guys can go to my website at darylwilson.com with my little pop-up where I put them on my hosting where you guys can um, check these out. Oh, there's my, uh, yeah, I have Clef. It's some app that does that. Yeah, so it does that. So uh, it's, it's actually on my websites where you guys can just go ahead and, you know, check these out. Um, I am going to get rid of uh, Bluehost and I'm going to probably add a2hosting.com because I think they deserve a spot on my website. So feel free to let me know what you guys think about these web hosting companies on my comment section or you can email me, you can ask me questions. Now, if you're going to plan on switching hosting, like I said, I would probably just stay with your current company because it is kind of a pain to switch over. Nonetheless, these companies do deserve a lot of recognition because their rates are just amazing compared to what i've seen from larger corporation companies that are owned by you know eig or something like that so that's it for my tutorial guys thanks for watching go ahead and give me a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe go ahead and get a drink whatever you want to do and i'll see you guys later